Hello there children, welcome once again. This time I'll come up with a math video. Divisibility tests. Let's look at divisibility tests. I've divided them into three categories. The easiest, the easier and the difficult one. Here we go. The first category is A. When I've taken three numbers, two. 5 and 10. If a number is even, it is divisible by 2. That's it. If a number ends with 5 or 0, it's divisible by 5. And if a number ends with 0, it's divisible by 10. Now, a little difficult part. Category B, where I've taken some more numbers. 3, 4, 6, 8 and 9. Now, you get 3. Suppose these are all the examples that are there in rectangular boxes over here. I've taken the example of 231. So for 3, you just add those digits. 2 plus 3 plus 1, you get 6. This number, if it's divisible by 3, which in this case it is, so this number is divisible by 3. For 4, you take the last two digits. If the last two digits, here we have 12, is divisible by 4, then this number is divisible by 4. Next is 6. In 6, you have to check the divisibility of 2 and 3. If this number is divisible by 2, yes it is, you get 48. Is divisible by 3, yes, you get 32. So this number is also divisible by 6. 8. 8 especially, this test for 8 is only there if you have a digit which is more than 4 digit numbers. So here I've taken a 5 digit number. So what you do is you take the last 3 digits over here. The last 3 digits, here you got 5 and 2. If the last 3 digits are divisible by 8, as you can see over here, 5 and 2 divided by 8, you get 64. So this whole number is divisible by 8. Next is 9. 9 is also very parallel to 3. You take all these digits over here, 5, 2, 8 and 3. You add them, you get 18. If it is divisible by 9, here it is. So this number is also divisible by 9. Now the most difficult part. They are divided. I got two numbers over there, 7 and 11. I've taken the example of 651. Now here what you do, there's a trick to it. Just listen carefully. You take the last digit, multiply it by 2. So here, in this case, you get 2. Now, this number that you get after multiplication by 2, you subtract it from the remaining digits that are there. So in this case, we have 65 minus 2, you got 63. This number that you get has to be divisible by 7. If it is, yeah, it is in this case. Then 651 is divisible by 7. Next is 11. 11, I got two divisibility tests by which you can ascertain whether the number is divisible by 11 or not. The first one goes this way. I'll take two different examples. You take the last digit and subtract that last digit from the remaining number that is formed of the remaining digits. So in this case, we got 133. Minus 1. You get 132. 132 is it divisible by 11? In this case, of course it is. So, you get 12. So, 1331 is divisible by 11. The second method of finding out whether the number is divisible by 11 is here. I, I'll take a big number this time. 10824. Now in this particular case, what you do is you pick up the even digits and the odd digits. So these wavy lines they show the odd digits, the first, third, first, the third and the fifth. And the ones which are not underlined by wavy line are the even ones, the second and the fourth. So you sum up all the odd numbers here, the odd digits, that is 4 plus 8 plus 1. That is what you get, 13. And then you add up even, the even placed digits. That is 0 plus 2, that is 2. 
I don't mean by the even numbers. I'm very let me be a little specific over here. I'm not talking about the even numbers because even a and four are even. I'm talking about the place. This is first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So if I take it first place, second place, third place, fourth place, and fifth place, I'm talking about the odd places. So first, third, and fifth will be the odd. So second and fourth will be even. So I have to take these digits which are in these places, odd places and even numbered places. So here we got 13 and 2. Now we subtract the odd, the even one from the odd. Here we get 11. That 11 is if it is divisible by 11. In this case, yeah, it is. So 1824 is also divisible by 11. Thank you so much.